Hello and welcome to an exciting unboxing here at Haltech. Right here in my hands, I have the Nexus plug-in ECU to suit the Nissan Skyline range. This is a direct plug-in engine management system which mounts into the factory ECU position with no modifications required. Simply plug it in, run the setup wizard, and you're ready to go. But first, let's make sure it's compatible with your Skyline. The Nexus plugin supports the R32 GTST RB20, the R32 GTR, the R33 GTST RB25, the R33 GTR, and the R34 GTR, all of which have the blue 76 pin ECU connector. This ECU does not support the factory automatic transmissions or the R34 GTT with the RB25 Neo engine, as that has a completely different ECU and the connector physically won't fit. So now we know what it's compatible with, let's open the box and see what it comes with. This is the Nexus plug-in ECU. It's the 76 pin connector, suits the Nissan six cylinder engine. The air temperature and wideband expansion harness, that plugs into the engine management system, that plugs into our wideband oxygen sensor. This one is a DTM2 plug that plugs into the supplied air temperature sensor clip straight in like that and we even supply the weld on bung if you need it that air temperature sensor is expected to go in the intake pipe after the intercooler but before the throttle body we've got the quick start guide we've got the sticker sheet that also now comes with the Haltech quick keys on the sticker sheet really good idea to stick that onto your laptop we've got the USB-C communications cable We've got a whole bunch of extra pins for the auxiliary connector if you choose to use them. Bunch of screws to mount all the brackets together. Then we've got the mounting brackets. There's different mounting brackets because the R32, R33 and R34 all have different ECU mounting positions. Comes with a bunch of brackets. Use the right one. Whichever one you don't use, chuck it in the bin. And lastly, we've got two and a half meters of three millimeter vacuum hose, and we even supply the T-piece. The vacuum hose and the T-piece are used to connect the inbuilt four bar map sensor or manifold absolute pressure sensor to the inlet manifold. This allows the ECU to measure boost pressure up to 45 pounds. This also allows us to remove or bypass the airflow meters and tune the engine using the volumetric efficiency method, as well as perform closed loop boost control with as many target boost pressures as you like. Just use a supplied T-piece to connect the vacuum hose between the engine's inlet manifold and the fuel pressure regulator. But if you wanna run more than 45 pounds of boost pressure, that's no problem. Just add an external map sensor. We do sensors that support over 100 PSI of boost pressure. The Nexus plug-in ECU supports a range of factory functions available across the Skyline series, including the variable speed fuel pump, the active LSD found in the Series 2 and Series 3 R33s, the load output for the Atessa found in the GTRs, and the MFD display found in the R34 GTR. But if your car isn't equipped with one or any of those functions, there's no need to panic. Each function can be enabled or disabled as the car's customized to suit your liking. We've even gone as far as adding support for the continuously variable cam control that was never even added to this line of engines, but it can be retrofitted to the RB26 and it's known as the V-Cam. Now, if you've got a Haltech standalone engine management system in your Skyline, there's a good chance it's modified, but it doesn't have to be. It could be replacing a failing factory ECU or used to extract the most out of your factory engine configuration. But when it comes to modifying, notice I said when and not if, nothing makes it easier than the Nexus plugin. Simply select which injectors you're using, which ignition system, and that's typically the R35 coils now because they're incredibly powerful and they keep it in the family. Then you can even choose which trigger system you're using. The Nexus allows you to use the factory CAS or crank angle sensor found mounted on the front of the exhaust camshaft 
or you could choose to upgrade to a more accurate crank and cam sensor setup. This is especially valuable when your engine's making north of 400 kilowatts or 500 horsepower. It offers three levels of engine protection and the ability to retrofit drive-by-wire electronic throttle in order to achieve that flawless idle control, perfect cold start, cruise control, boost control, and advanced traction control. But don't worry if you're about to tackle this install you by yourself. There's an intuitive software wizard that gets things started. It asks what car, what engine, what auxiliary harness, what air temperature sensor, what throttle, so the factory ITB multi-throttles or a drive-by-wire conversion, what camshafts, what type of fuel, what injectors, what coils, and, and then that's about it. The so software generates a base map based on the info you plug in and she'll fire right up ready for final tuning. The only optional extra I'd recommend for any ECU installation is a wideband oxygen sensor kit. This allows the ECU to measure the actual air to fuel ratio coming out of the exhaust rather than the very limited information it gets from the factory narrow band oxygen sensor. And that is if it's been working after all these years. With this information, the ECU can perform closed loop auto tuning with long term learning. This means the ECU looks at the actual air to fuel ratio, then compares against the target air to fuel ratio and makes the required adjustments by itself. The longer you drive the car, the better it gets. And it doesn't just forget each time you turn the car off, it remembers for next time. This is how the tune up and the fuel economy gets better and better with each drive. But that's not all. The Nexus plugin also has individual cylinder based windowed knock control with short and long term trims. It's got 128 megabytes of looped onboard data logging. It's got Wi Fi communications. You can connect a laptop wirelessly for tuning or data extraction. But more importantly, it's compatible with the Haltech Connect app. It's available on the App Store or the Play Store for free. It's also got a four pin can plug to support devices like the IC7 or UC10 dash in true plug and play fashion. And the auxiliary connector that every tuner dreams about. It's a 26 pin AMP connector found on the back of the unit and it uses the industry standard AMP one millimeter super seal pins that are an absolute breeze to work with. It offers four digital outputs, four digital inputs, for analog inputs, two H-bridge outputs. So they're typically used to control a drive-by-wire throttle, but they could also be used to control an exhaust cutoff valve, for example. And dedicated ground, five volt and 12 volt power supplies. So you don't have to muck around finding power supplies in the factory wiring harness. But wait, there's still more. If that's not enough inputs and outputs for your build, don't worry either any unused inputs and outputs from the factory ECU connector can be reassigned to suit your specific needs. That means up to 11 extra analog inputs and 10 extra digital outputs. This is also a really nice way to keep the engine harness looking nice and neat while adding that functionality through the already existing wiring. But if wiring's not your thing, that's okay too. We offer fully finished terminated harnesses to suit installs that are looking to add things like wideband, air temperature, fuel pressure, oil pressure, flex fuel, drive-by-wire throttles, drive-by-wire pedals, and more. So with that being said, the time's never been easy to give your Skyline a well-deserved upgrade. Of course, if you've got any questions at all, please leave them in the comments or get in contact with your friendly Haltech representative. As always, thanks so much for watching. My name's Scott, and I'll catch you next time.